things first. We gotta drive to a good view. Alright, that was a glorious morning, a glorious sunrise, that cup of coffee with that view, cannot beat it. But now it's a little after 7am, so I'm actually going to make my way down the mountain and then out on Hannigan Pass Road, which is at the very bottom of the mountain, and then I'm going to be doing the Hannigan Pass Trail, which heads up on a mountain peak, like way over there actually. It's going to be like on that mountain peak, like way over there. Just wanted to spend the morning up here with the beautiful views of Artist Point. Drove up here for coffee. Now we're gonna head back down over to Hannigan Pass. Let's head that way. Service roads up at Baker, I will say, are pretty bad. They're not even a road, it's just a collection of potholes. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we finally made it to the Hannigan Pass trailhead. I about lost all my teeth chattering up that road with all those potholes, but we made it. It is a little after 8 a.m., so good early start. If you guys watched my last video, I just finished a 10 mile hike quite literally less than 12 hours ago. And now I'm about to go on another 10 mile hike. So it's gonna be a little bit brutal, but it's gonna be good training for uh, my enchantment through hike that I'm planning on doing in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for that one. I did carb up a little bit, got some electrolytes. So we should be good to go to crank this one out. This one's a little bigger. It's like over 3000 feet of gain, I'm pretty sure. So let's get on the trail.
we are officially off onto the trail. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Beautiful, crisp morning. It's a little bit nippy. Just try to throw on the puffer for now. But just a beautiful, crisp morning out in nature, man. Love it. Okay, one mile in, only 200 feet of gain. So what that's telling me is a lot of this gain is gonna happen at the end. So we still have about three miles to the pass, and four miles to the peak. One mile in, let's keep going. I'm already sweating like crazy. So this thing has to come off. Okay, that is much, much better. Okay, about two miles in now. We are in direct sunlight now. But currently at 9 a.m. the sun still feels good. It's not too hot. I can tell in like a couple of hours that sun is gonna be beating down. We've gained almost 800 feet. We are climbing. It's still very much in the honeymoon phase of this hike. Let's keep it going. Okay, just hit mile three. Gained almost 1,100 feet so far, which means we probably have over a thousand left to go in the next two miles or so. I can definitely feel it in my legs from yesterday's hike because that was less than 12 hours ago. And that was a 10 miler. But it's good training, good cardio, and it should be worth it once I'm up there. Okay, I can feel my energy going down a little bit. So, took a break, I'm gonna take a go gel, give me some carbs, some electrolytes, replenish some of my energy. If you've never had go gels, these are pretty good. This one here tastes just like applesauce. And on a hike like this, applesauce feels like a delicacy. <laughs> All right, Whew. let's keep moving. Okay, looks like we just made it to the actual pass. Just under four miles in, 1,600 feet of gain. I can imagine that this pass is gonna be a bit of a brute. It's gonna be so worth it at the top, I just know it. So this is where you gotta kinda buckle in and just grind through, man. The bug just trying to bite me. Okay, let's keep it going. Yep. This is pretty much just straight up now. Uh. Okay, we are officially four miles in, making our way up this pass. It is climbing now, man. For context, just in the last 0.3 miles, we've gained almost 300 feet. So that's on pace for about a thousand feet in a mile. <laughs> So we are definitely climbing. But I mean, look at these views already. I wish I knew what mountain that was. I don't. I'm disappointed in myself, but it's beautiful. Okay, we're just about five miles in now. I thought I was getting close to the summit, but turns out it was a false summit because look at this. I still have to go all the way up to that peak. I'm pretty sure that is Hannigan Peak. That is a tough realization five miles in, thinking you're nearly done, cresting the hill and seeing that behemoth I have a peak left. <laughs> but 
It is gorgeous out here. Look at that. Look at that. That little sharp peak right there is Shuxon. And then Baker's gonna be hiding over there somewhere. So we should be able to see both of them from up here. We have gained 2,600 feet already. I imagine this final ascent will be at least another 500 or so. So we'll be hovering right around the 31, 3,200 feet of gain, I think. So it's a doozy. <laughs> Okay, we're on our final push. We're about to reach the peak of the honeymoon phase. Now you can see Shuxon and Baker. It's incredible. We made it. Just under 3,100 feet of gain. So it begins the hike back down. Honeymoon phase is fully over. I don't even like hiking anymore. <laughs> I just want to lay down. Whew. Just dunked my head, refilled my water in this waterfall. Much needed. We're still about two and a half miles away from the car, so we're making progress, but still have a ways to go. This just reset me, man. It felt so good. <laughs> oh, thank Jesus. Wow, what a hike that was, man. I'm so happy to be back to my car. So total stats for that hike are about 11 miles total. Total calories, about 2,000 calories. We ascended about 3,200 feet, so. So that means if you put together last night's hike and this morning's hike, I went about 21 miles and about 5,400 feet of gain in the last 18 hours, so I am beat. But that's really good training for the enchantment, so I'm really happy about that. But now I'm gonna head home. I might stop at the river and jump in on the way out of here. And then I think I'm gonna go get some pizza, so. That's gonna do it for this video. That's gonna do it for this adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.